So for me, the daily commute to work is something I really, really look forward to. I'm lucky enough to live in Sydney, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Opening up the garage, big smile on my face when I see the bike sitting there. Turn the key, the exhaust fire up. And I'm just grinning from ear to ear. Get on the bike thinking that this could be the day that something could happen. Uh, and that's a really good feeling, I really enjoy that, that adrenaline that rushes through me. And then as I'm driving through over the Harbour Bridge, I can see the Opera House on to my left. Then I work in a fairly nice part of the rocks um, in Sydney. And just pulling up at crossings and you know, smelling the bakeries and smelling the coffees. You know, if I'm lucky, I might see a nice looking woman in a business suit. Who walks in front of me and I can smell a perfume. It's a, it's a great way to start the day. So one of the pivotal inspirations for me for getting into motorbike riding was because my father was in the, the British Army, he was in the Royal Signals. We used to go to these um, demonstrations by the White Helmets, which was the Royal Signals uh, motorbike demonstration team. And I just remember being a kid, you know, surrounded by all this military hardware. You've got these guys with white helmets on, riding British Triumph bikes jumping through hoops that are on fire, there's five or six of them all hanging off one bike. And I thought to myself that this is, this is awesome and this is something that I really, really enjoy. And it's only probably quite recently that I've had this unconscious decision to have a Triumph motorbike and have a white helmet. It didn't really occur to me until I actually uh, put some thought into it and I'm awfully glad that it has. So I came over to Australia in about 2001. Getting into bikes wasn't really on the agenda, it was more about you know, starting a family, which I did. But then that fell apart, so I didn't really have anyone to, to answer to in terms of why I wanted to buy a motorbike. So I was just looking for a quick and easy way to get to work and I ended up buying a small Honda 250 CBF. So riding the 250 was a great start back into motorcycling after 20, a 20 odd year break. Within 10 days I was bored. It just wouldn't go fast enough, it didn't have any balls and it was new and shiny. I want something with a bit more heart, a bit more character, a bit more class, a bit more retro. And obviously being English, the, the Triumph Bonneville was a um, perfect match. So riding the bike, it's, it's so much more laid back than a sports bike. I'm 42, I like to sit quite comfortably on my bike. I did put some ace bars and made them, you know, typical cafe racer style bike, but after a couple of weeks, my wrists and my back just started to give up. So the real neat thing about the Bonneville, it's such a comfortable riding position. It's got lots of power you can put down when you want it, but at the same time, it will happily cruise around um, some of the twisty roads around Sydney you know, with ease. So some of the things I've done to customize the Bonnie are, Obviously changing the decals on the tank, it's got a brand new LSL headlight. The front of the bike has pretty much been fabricated and made by uh, Wendy Andrews of Me Machines. He put the headlight ears on, he powder coated the wheels black. I've changed the exhaust to British Customs Predators. I've also put on there the, the heat wrap as well. Fender Eliminator kit, changed the side panels, new seat, new bars, chain guard, front fender and sprocket cover all from Maz Engineering Italy, all handmade. It's really not anything that's gonna improve the overall performance of the bike, but, and it's just something just to make it different and give it a sense of uh, identity. It just looks cool, I think. So riding in Sydney is obviously amazing, very lucky to, to live in Australia. Um, always looking for something new, always looking for something different. I remember sitting down watching Top Gear and they did the, uh, the Vietnam motorbike tour from uh, I think south to north Vietnam and I thought that's it, I want to do that and I did but I did put myself in for a three day tour from Hanoi 
up to Sapa uh, at the Chinese border, just myself and son, my guide. The weather was amazing, the food was awesome, and, and just riding in Vietnam in the middle of nowhere, you know, you go through these little villages and you've got the kids chasing you, it really was an immense feeling. And then reaching the Chinese border was a great sense of achievement, um, a feeling and a, and an experience that I'll never forget. You know, if we bring all these elements together, uh, the bike, the sounds, the smells, the people you get to hang around with, the places that you visit, um, the weather, um, the learning of new things as well, I'm constantly learning by other, uh, other bike riders as well. And it just makes for something that is just pure chemistry and I don't think um, that I'll get that from, from anywhere or anything else. I've got no issues with, um, with getting any older. I've been doing the same crap for the last 25 years or so. If I can carry on doing this as long as I can, then I'll be a very, very happy man, very content.